Welcome to the snake sequence. In this sequence, we're looking at the primary movements such as the up dog and the down dog. This sequence brings a lot of strength to the body, but we'll just be mindful of certain movements to kind of err on the uh, element of caution and not push ourselves into any areas that our body doesn't feel ready to uh, work from. So we're going to come forward into four point kneeling. making sure that my hands sit underneath my shoulders and my knees sit underneath my hips, pressing up through the back of the spine. So together I'm going to flex my stomach and we bring our chin in towards the chest, really rounding out through the back, gazing in towards the belly button, stretching the back of the neck. So exhale. Now reversing that, release the navel and we're going to arch our chest and looking high, bringing movement to the back of the spine as we inhale. Navel pulls in, chin to throat, and I really round my back out, bringing stretch to the spinal muscles in the back of the neck. Exhale. I arch my chest, and I look forward and up, lifting through my spine. Inhale. Navel pulls in, chin to throat. So this is articulating all the spinal muscles. It feels really nice to do. Exhale. Arching, lifting up tall in the back. Inhale. Two more, rounding our spine, chin to throat, as we exhale, and then I gently arch the back, looking high as I inhale. We're going to tuck our toes under, we'll just bring our hands slightly forward, we're going to come to our downward facing dog. So the downward dog, it's going to strengthen my shoulders, and it's also going to bring some uh, strength to my legs. So I lift up through my bum. If I can, I straighten my legs here and I look in towards my toes. Now for some of us with tight hamstrings, you might find it better just to slightly bend your knees and then you tilt up through your tailbone a bit. So I'm not tucking my tail under. I want to press out through my tail and slowly, slowly, slowly I stretch the backs of the legs. I'll take a breath here. Exhale. I've got tightness in those hamstrings. We can walk through the legs like this. And it's also a really good way to get the back of the calf muscle nice and uh, lengthened. It's a bit like a moonwalk as well. So you're gently pressing down through your heels, getting that length into the back of the leg. So we'll come to uh, dog pose, holding here, pressing through our hands. We breathe in. Now exhale, we come forward to our plank, bring our chest forward and out over our palms. Got to be careful my bum is not sticking out, so I slightly tuck my tail under. Now if that's too strong, you can just put your knees on the floor and you slightly tuck your tail under there, flexing those abdominals. So eventually you'll build your strength so that you can be here in a full plank with the shoulders over the thumbs there. I breathe in. Exhale, my knees come to the floor, and then I bring my bottom down in the pose of the child, which is a nice resting posture. So I really stretch out through my arms, and I lengthen my back, my spine, letting my head soften to the earth. Really spreading my fingers, keep awareness through my arms. Nice articulation through the spine, so my tail's coming down to the heel bones. I take a breath in. Exhale, I'm going to lift my head and look forward as I inhale. Now keeping those hands there, we're going to come forward onto our belly. Lying down on the uh, belly, my elbows come in, and I come down to my navel centre. Now obviously, if, if, if I had to be careful if I, had, if I was pregnant, I wouldn't be lying on my stomach. So we're going to bring our elbows in and stretching up through the spine. So we call this the sphinx pose. I lightly from here press down through my pubic bone and pull my navel in, lifting up tall through my chest and spine. I take a breath here. Exhale. Now if that's hurting your lower back, just slightly change the shape. Maybe bring your chest slightly forward. But as we work through this movement, I'm actually pulling my heart slightly forward towards my thumbs. I take a breath in. Exhale. We're going to bring our left knee up and I press down through the left groin. And from here I'm going to turn and look over the left shoulder. So this brings some nice movement to the hips and helps to open up the spinal wall looking over the left shoulder as I inhale. It's a bit like a commando crawl. Exhale, stepping back. I take a breath in at the top. Exhale, right knee comes up, and I press down through the right groin, I bend and look over my right shoulder, flexing my right waist as I inhale. Exhale, coming back. I extend my legs out. Now from here, we're going to build strength in our back if we can. Like we're flying, we hover, lifting our legs and lifting our arms. This is a really good one to build strength through the spinal wall. I take a breath here. 
exhale now palms down underneath the chest and I from here I just lightly tuck my toes under leading with my tail press my bum or my tailbone back up to the sky into the downward dog I breathe in exhale knees to the floor we're going to bring from here our left knee to our left elbow using our core body core strength inhale stepping that back other side right knee to right elbow inhale stepping that back we're going to sit down onto our feet now lifting up through our chest big stretch high lifting out of our waist as we inhale exhale we're going to come to the shatali breath sequence which helps to get the breath out from the bottom of the lung so from here we're going to turn our fingertips in towards our knees i press down through the heels of the hands and i lightly tuck my toes under really want to arch my chest here and i look forward i purse my lips as if i was drinking through a straw and i suck in filling up the lungs pause swallow now tongue to chin and around my back <sighs> Pressing the breath out from the bottom of the lung. Again, Shitali. Pause, swallow. Tongue out. <laughs> Sitting down, palms face the face, backs of the hands together. So still moving through the snake sequence as we inhale. And then coming down to the prayer. Exhale. Closing our eyes. Just centering ourselves, being aware of the breath, being aware of those movements coursing through the body, bringing fresh nutrients to all the blood cells. Inhale. Exhale. 